Cheers, BrewTube. It's your host, Shannon Harris, a.k.a. The Brew Brother, and I'm here to introduce my brand new 15-gallon stainless steel spike brewing kettle. Alright, so I'm very new to home brewing. Uh, I've been doing batches here and there, extract kits, partial mash, uh, brewing the bag, and now I want to get into all grain. And what better way to step my game up is buying brand new kettles that's going to help me reach the quality of beers uh, in the volumes that I want uh, effectively. So I worked so I reached out to uh, Spike Brewing. They are located in uh, Milwaukee, United States. Woo -woo. Uh, and Ben and his team were very helpful in helping me decide on getting a kettle. Uh, I do five gallon batches, sometimes like six uh, gallon batches. Uh, I was originally looking to get to like a 10 gallon kettle, but I was like, hey, in the long run, I may want to make 10 gallon batches of beer. So let's go with 15 and start from there. So in the long run, it'll save me money from having to upgrade to even more kettles. So got uh, the 15 gallon pot, some accessories that are sold separately, like the three piece ball valve, uh, a barb fitting, thermometer, and the V3 shorty dip tube. Also got some Teflon tape as you want to wrap the ends of these before you add them. So let's go ahead and start taking some of this plastic off so you guys can see exactly why I chose Spike Brewing. One, stainless steel, of course, always better than aluminum, but I love stainless steel, not only because it's shiny, but I love the brush finish. It's very durable, very strong. Edges are a little sharp, got to be careful. And then I do like that he had the silicone uh, handles with the finger grips, if you can see the little ridges in there. So if you're handling the hot kettle when you're doing a mash or a boiling kettle, you don't got to worry about burning your palm and your fingers uh, when lifting that lid off. We can take the plastic off the kettle as well. Now this is a 15 gallon kettle. When it arrived at my doorstep, I was like, holy crap, what did I get into? Of course, I've been brewing like for uh, six gallon pots and also eight gallon pots. So jumping to a 15 was a huge uh, difference in size. Very durable, thick, stainless steel, 304. Uh, still got the silicone handles on the side as well, so that'll help you lift this bad boy because it is heavy. Give you some uh, leeway when lifting. Again, you ain't got to worry about burning your hands when touching hot handles. Cool thing is that if you move your lid, like I currently have to do, I sit it on the ground, I spray it with hella star sand before I put it back on. Now that defeats the purpose because of these silicone fittings. Hold the lid right on the handle. So if you take it off, put it there, you're good to go. Still spray with star sand if you want to be extra cautious like I am when it comes to san being sanitary. But works out well. Uh, let's set this aside for a minute. Uh, it's very thick, very durable. Um, I would think as thick as this bad boy is, it's going to prevent itself from rusting. Uh, so you'll be able to get quite some uses out of this. It also has some sanitized, uh, wellless. Uh, fittings in here too which is also really cool uh, nice bottom I don't know if you guys can see I have to get some extra photos and videos when I edit this but it has these gallon markers in here uh, from one gallon all the way up to 15 gallon down here on the side they're etched on so that prevents you having to um, get a sight glass on here but they're etched on I doubt that they'll rub off or burn off like they're gonna last a while it's pretty much the same etching uh, that you see right here on the kettle with their logo. Uh, the inside of it is very nice. Adorable. You can kind of see those wedless fittings that I was talking about in there. Uh, I went on ahead and went with the uh, the horizontal. I'm sorry, the yeah, the horizontal coupler fittings. Um, one is just, I just like it that way, especially since I'm using a thermometer, it's going to sit at a level, it's pretty much at like the one and a half, almost at a two gallon mark. So if I'm doing a five gallon batch, the uh, thermometer, I already got some Teflon tape on there, probably want to add a little more. Yeah, so the thermometer is going to sit at a nice spot to where it can still read temperature very well. So I really like that where it's going to sit. I don't have to worry about it not being so high. Now they do have it to where it's uh, vertical and they sit above each other. But the thing is, is that if you go that route, 
um, the thermometer probe is going to sit right at the like five gallon mark and if you lose uh, some volume due to the boil and all of that you're going to pretty much the thermometer is going to sit above where your work level is if you're doing a five gallon batch and that's going to suck because you're not going to get a proper proper temperature reading so i like it here at the two gallon because it's always going to be submerged uh, let's turn this bad boy around now, also got the uh, three-piece ball valve. Now, all of these accessories are sold separately. Um, unlike other manufacturers, they do like to include like a ball valve, uh, maybe a dip tube, maybe even a false bottom if you're using it at a mash ton. Uh, they do everything separately. But one thing that I like uh, about Spike Brewing and Sturmy Tum is their model is that your liver will fail on you before their kettles do. And they are pricey kettles, and that's also another one of their models is that uh, they're not cheap, they're just better. Which is okay with me. I'm good with that. So yeah, like I said, with the well is fittings, it's sanitary, you don't have to worry about rust. Uh, O-rings or washers like you would do if it didn't have well is fittings. Um, so... That kind of eliminates that headache for me a bit. So now I got uh, my brew thermometer and my three-piece ball valve on there. Now I got my dip tube, which is actually cool. This one is called a shorty. They do have a long one. They also have side tubes. So if you do uh, do the vertical one, there's like a dip tube in here that picks up from the side. Or if you want to do whirlpooling, if that's your thing, it'll get you a nice circulation. They also do custom kettles. If you reach out to Ben, just go to spikebrewing.com. They'll make you couplers up here on top. If you want to have it for uh, your sparge or you want a Vorloff, which this is going to help me because I'm going to just connect the tube from here run my runnings of my mash uh, into here. Of course, I'm gonna have a, a false bottom so it can keep my uh, grain bed raised above the dip tube so I can only pick up the work. I'm just gonna boil off uh, the clean work back into there to recirculate that a bit. But I do like that their uh, dip tubes are just click on. Like that's it, it's sturdy, durable. You wanna remove it, click it off. I already got my Teflon tape. In there. Make sure it's tight. Perfect. So now, if you look inside, you got the dip tube in there sitting real nicely. You also got the thermometer probe sitting at like the one and a half, a little above the one and a half gallon mark. So you can definitely get that in there. Uh, like I was saying, if you wanted a side tube, they do have it. See how it turns to the side. But they do have some uh, tubes that are sitting closer in the inside so it sits more to the side of the kettle. Uh, overall I'm very happy with it. I do like the dome triclad bottom which is going to help my dip tube when I'm picking up work so it's going to leave all that hot debris and trub behind. Triclad bottom which is going to help uh, distribute heat. One is because in between the stainless steel there's like this aluminum layer uh, that's going to help distribute the heat make sure you're balanced when it comes to heat and you're not getting like cold spots here and there which I really like about them. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much awesome uh, to do like, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a great kettle. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. So if you are definitely thinking about uh, upgrading your kettles and you're on the fence about which manufacturer to go with, I can highly recommend that Spike Brewing is good. One day in the United States, they're very communicative through emails and through phone calls, which makes it very easy. And then... If you need a replacement or you want to get a rush order or a custom order, I think if you do a custom kettle, Ben, to get a one-week turnaround, depending on what your plans are. So like I said, you can add couplers everywhere. If you want to make it an electric kettle, put a coupler in the back, and you can stick your electric uh, items through the back. Uh, all the accessories are sold separately. I think the thermometer is like 25 bucks. The three-piece ball valve is like 20 to 25 bucks. Uh, plus the dip tube was like 20 bucks. And... Uh, the bar was pretty cheap, I don't know, like eight, ten bucks, I don't know. But overall, I'm very satisfied, very happy, and can't wait to brew on this. Um, I'm definitely get it cleaned up and ready for brewing, so you might see future videos of me doing uh, brew in a bag or just doing straight all grain, um, and it will get.
get started. Another cool thing about Ben and the Spike Brewing team is that uh, this is actually a replacement kettle. The first kettle that I ordered was a 15 gallon and FedEx just beat that thing up. I mean, there was dents all over this bad boy. It looked like they ran it over with a truck. And Ben was like not happy with that. Like he believes in his product, so he overnighted me a brand new kettle. It arrived safely with no dings, no dents or anything. So I'm happy with that. He even told me to take a hammer to that damaged kettle uh, just to prove like the only way it would have got dented up is if a truck ran it over. So hopefully this video will help you when making your decision on upgrading kettles. Uh, Spike is good compared to other uh, manufacturers. I have hung out with other brewers at home brewers who have kettles from other manufacturers and they all pretty much told me like if they could start over with kettles, they would have just went ahead with the Spike Brewing kettles. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Please stay tuned as I do more beer reviews and I do brewing on YouTube and you can see the whole process of how I get down. I definitely want to do a test video with this to see how good it holds temperature, see how all of these fittings work, see how good the thermometer works. And that's really going to help decide if like this is the kettle for me and also the kettle for you. So until next time, cheers.